Hi Libra, it's Sahara Stars with the Luma Astrology and Tarot doing your August 2023 person of interest reading. I hope you guys are doing awesome. I'm sending you positive energy for all the best. As always, thank you so much for joining me and Romeo. He's got a new outfit. Um, please keep in mind they're general. Check out your rising or your moon sign for more information maybe there or it could be your reading. For a personal reading, you can now text me at 818-839-1116. Um, you can use this for a friend, a family member, a love interest. Typically, they go with love interest, but they could be a friend or a family member, depending upon how it resonates with your situation. All right, Libra, let's take a look at your person of interest, current energy for August of 2023. Tell me about Libra's person of interest. Now, feel free to reverse the roles also, okay? Because this may be you. It's an air sign, could be, but doesn't have to be, okay? These are just energy readings, but this is the element of air and we got the nightingale. So this person has something they wanna say to you. They wanna communicate with you or you wanna communicate with this person. I feel like this person is someone who is quite captivating. Um, they're very communicative, they're very social. They're somebody that catches a lot of attention, um, that gets a lot of attention, or this could be you also, okay? Um, but they are somebody that, that captivates people with their communication or with their speech in some way. They may know multiple languages. They are just somebody that's very good at communicating. And again, this could be you. But I feel like if it's you, you have something that you want to say to your person or they want to say something to you. So what stands between you is we got the frog, water element, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. I feel like things were getting a little heavy or maybe somebody just jumped away from the situation or left the situation. They didn't want to hear what was coming their way or this situation or the connection got heavy or dark in some way. For some of you, I feel like this person was going through a lot of things, okay? And they had to leave the situation. I feel like emotionally, because this is a water card of emotions, the emotions were rather heavy. Some of you, it just went, it wasn't emotionally fulfilling. Or there's a bad vibe going on between the two of you. And somebody just left the situation. Or felt like they had to get out of a bad situation. Now, this could be your person of interest. Or it could be you. But it's coming across as your person of interest. They just want... They, they basically felt like the connection was not, was either emotionally heavy, things started to get dark in some way or just not fulfilling and the person felt like they had to get away from the situation. This could be a friend, a family member or whatnot, but for some of you, this person was going through something and they had to get out, they had to leave. They felt like the pressure cooker, something was going on. But I feel like you guys may have had some emotional, nasty times with the black rain. Tell me how they see. Tell me how Libra sees their person of interest. So, so we got the sea serpent, which can be somebody that has very powerful emotions, responding impulsively, okay, um, can be a little overbearing emotionally, but they're very wise. Um, they have a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom, but can be slightly overbearing or overwhelming, or they're overwhelmed by their emotions, and they tend to hold them in. They tend to hold them in and not express them. So somebody may have impulsively reacted to this connection. 
because there was a lot of feelings being held in. Tell me more about the sea serpent. So we got the starfish with the sea serpent, which is the element of water, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. This is also the card of the ether. So this is somebody that's very star quality. They're very captivating. They're very social, but might be sensitive to the poke. <laughs> they might be sensitive to, to, to emotionally sensitive. They need a lot of attention. They need to be recognized. They need a lot of attention. If they're not getting the intention, they may emotionally um, get sensitive. Okay. Um, yeah, that, that's it, it. This person, whether it's you or them, they need a lot of attention emotionally. Okay. They are very, very, very passionate and hold a lot in. They have overwhelming feelings. Okay. And they could be sensitive. So I feel like something got heavy or something got in between the two of you here, but this is coming through with the Nightingale, which is another air element, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, that just ghosted, just left the situation because it wasn't, it wasn't emotionally fulfilling or it was heavy. And they felt like things were too heavy, too dark, too... It's going to be different for all of you. It's not the same. So don't put them all together in the same situation. You're all dealing with something different. But it could be that they had something heavy going on. Okay. Oh, it stands between them. I'm getting somebody's emotionally intense and needs a lot of attention and wasn't getting it. And somebody may be emotionally negative. Okay. Negative or just. Yeah. Somebody just felt like they weren't emotionally getting what they wanted from somebody. Stands between them, please. Yeah, it's a something that stands between you is the lion, which is fire energy. Is that somebody felt like they were so attractive, so good looking that they can just get whatever they want? Somebody needed a lot of attention. Somebody was using their looks as an advantage in some way and wanted somebody to chase after them or come after them. This is what stands between you. Leo energy, but it's 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 giving me this impression of somebody like they're they're just so good that that, that you're just gonna chase them. <laughs> Vice versa, whichever, whoever it is, that like I'm just so good looking and I got everything going for me and you're going to run after me. Or somebody was obviously needed a lot of attention here, okay? And they were emotionally upset that they weren't getting the attention that they wanted. And clearly that was standing in the middle of it. And somebody just felt like that was just too much. Then they just wanted to get out of get out of the situation, leave the situation or it was too heavy for them. Or, or, now remember, they're not all the same. These are all different people for a lot of you. The connection got too heavy or it was going too dark. Maybe too much vanity involved something of that nature. But somebody felt like somebody else. We have an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, which could be you or something. But somebody else was just too much for them. And they just wanted to get out from under it. And I am getting the impression that there is somebody here who really needed a lot of attention or just thought they were it. They were just like, so a lot of vanity, 
holding in emotions, not expressing emotions, and then just... So we got the bat, air element, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, a person that's very, very insightful, um, sees behind, very intuitive, very insightful, a little mysterious. I feel like the energies were, one was really sort of vain and sort of just wanted more attention and one was a little bit deeper here. Um, but it is somebody that's very intuitive, very insightful, very um, mysterious. And a lot more depth emotionally. Some of you, it could have been a result of the full moon, or I'm sorry, the new moon or full moon. Okay, I'm getting that this went south. <laughs> like something was uncovered. Somebody on the full moon or the new moon discovered something and was like, I'm out. I'm flying the back cave. I'm out. And obviously here, because it got emotionally dark, heavy, or just something wasn't being fulfilling and somebody just said they had to go. What was the issue here? There was some sort of unconditional love going on here, like without condition, and it looks like, and it's definitely being powered up with he himself, which is like somebody was just giving more to this connection because they unconditionally loved the person and then they got lit up and saw that. Somebody was more expecting here And somebody was more sacrificial and giving into this clearly because there was this there was this unconditional like they saw a future okay but we got a pony's wild daughter which is it was mental anguish and a nightmare so Somebody here was tolerating a lot more or giving more to this connection than the other person was, okay? And somebody was more vain and full of themselves or expecting, and it turned out to be a nightmare for one of both of you. Like, I feel like somebody was hurt here. Um... I feel like somebody, somebody was, it's like something was uncovered, okay? Somebody had high expectations or somebody wanted, wanted this, one of you or both of you wanted it to work, but there was somebody that was just too heavy, to just needed too much. They needed too much and it was emotionally draining. That's what I'm getting, emotionally draining because somebody just 
wanted too much and wasn't giving and it turned out to be like, oh, you're just a headache. But it looks like it will be healing. <clears throat> I just feel like somebody was giving a lot to this connection with this unconditional love and it turned out to be a nightmare because it was like somebody, one of you was too full of themselves clearly here okay it was it was too much vanity expecting heaviness like too much of a burden tell me what's the problem with the real problems. and somebody just finally saw it somebody just finally saw it for what it is and was like this is more more work more everything for nothing in return yeah but somebody wants to heal it and they want to do the right thing here or I feel like for some of you, you're just tying it up and wrapping it and getting rid of it, okay? Um, because somebody does need healing in this connection. It's going to be different for all of you. But for a lot of you, you're just tying up loose ends with this person and figuring something like you're just like, this is how it's always been and it's not... It's like you're literally healing from this connection you're just letting it go and healing now if this isn't your reading don't, don't make it fit okay check out your rising or your moon sign this is regarding a particular person who is expecting a lot totally vain it turned out to be too much mental stress and and whatnot and it was too heavy they just had too many demands and you found it or they did that kind of saw it for what it is and it was like the ending of it was kind of just like tying up a cycle or a, a, a path for you to heal and realize you don't need to give unconditionally to somebody who is a mental nightmare or anguish or just emotionally too heavy too needy to de something like that tell me what is going to happen with this connection So what's to come of this connection? It's up to you. <laughs> Could be whatever you want it to be. Okay, it's blank. Um, but yeah, see, we got the narcissist card or we got the person that's just, so it could be whatever you want it to be. This card indicates somebody that's got ego, pride, um, full of themselves, lustful, okay energetically um but it also could be the card of illusions of how you see things so like you could see what you want to see out of this person <laughs> basically you can see what you want to see out of this person um but for a lot of you um what's to come is pretty much up to you whether or not you decide to keep giving unconditionally to this connection or not or if you change your perspective of this person they change and we know that that's a thing like it could be coming from within you but this is what I have for you guys what advice do we have for Libras 
You could be the nightingale and the frog, that one that just got out of it because it was too heavy, or the starfish and the sea serpent. But pick whatever side you're on, it looks like this is this was part of closing out a phase. Yeah, we got time for a nap, which means just to like leave it alone, give it a break. <laughs> just give it a break because clearly, what else? Yeah, you just, you feel like you've been on your own in this connection or this person orphaned you or you don't care. Like, it's like, it, it was a lonely connection regardless. Lonely connection and just let it go and give it a break. Okay, because there was some chaos and conflict in that connection as well. And some of you are building new, starting new, developing new. But there is opportunity always to rectify or fix everything if you choose to. So this is what I have for you guys for August of 2023. This is a very specific reading. Check out your rising or your moon for more. Or if it doesn't resonate with you, um, check out next time's reading. I am doing a monthly overview reading, so feel free to check that out too, just to see what's generally coming overall for Libras for August of 2023. Again, for a personal reading, you can now text me at 818-839-1116, or you can visit my site at www.illumastrology.com. Again, I'm sending you positive energy for all the best. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time.